Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianas, TEA, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. Welcome on board to the 60 or more new subscribers that are on the bus. I truly do appreciate every one of you. You could spend time on hundreds thousands of other channels. So I truly do appreciate the time you decide to spend with me here. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll give me a thumbs up, share me out, tell your friends. I'm a nice person. I am. <laughs> so what do we have? What's in the bag, sweetheart? Well, I've got my Ipsy Glam Bag for March of 2023. It's a little late for me this month. But, um, you know, at least it's not completely the end of the month. Now, I'm taking it out of the larger bag that they've been shipping these things in um, and just kept this one for display purposes. Um, we have a bit of a mosaic for um, the uh, bag of the month. It's a marbled effect. Um, it also has these little bobbles wooden and uh, acetate bottle bobbles plus a little bead on the end of it as the zipper pull. Um, the back side does say Ipsy and it's this nondescript sort of beigey foundation color. Um, I really prefer it when they have the pretty colors all over it rather than something boring, but I know it's a price saving, cost saving measure. Um, but this does not thrill me. Um, if it was a little more centered with the pink and the purple and the more vibrant colors, I might like it. But to me, this is really boring, especially that. But that's just my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out of the little bag. It is lined in a pale sort of baby blue or medium blue. No, I'd still call it a pale baby blue. So we've got um, something to match the little swirl in the bottom. So we've got the card. And does it have my stuff? It has my stuff. I love it when it has my stuff. Okay, so March of 2024. Rewrite the rules. Wear too much blush? Make the first move. Get a mismatched mani? This month, march to your own beauty beat with botanical skincare. Must have makeup and a nature-inspired palette from women-owned and founded brands who inspire us to rewrite the rules every day. Okay, the moment you've been waiting for. Five new products valued up to $70 are yours. I actually never pay attention to what the value is supposed to be. I'm just happy if I like my products and I already know in advance because I bought add-ons that I'm not going to be overly thrilled with this. So, the very first item on here is... Where is it? Uh, what is it? Coyal or Coil Beauty Gentle Gel Face Wash. So we've got that there. Dry, sensitive skin types, this one's for you. This gentle gel-based formula is especially designed to cleanse your skin without leaving it feeling stripped or irritated. You'll be left with a fresh, nourished complexion that's ready for anything. Gently massage a dime-sized amount of cleanser over your damp skin and then rinse. This is a deluxe sample um, with a full-size version, which is four ounces, is worth $28. This is 10 mil or less than a third of an ounce. So whoever wants to do the math can do the math, but the full size is four ounces and it's worth $28. I don't like um, cleansing products like this. I use a makeup wipe, I use my cellar water, and I use a toner. So um, this will go in friend mail or a future giveaway, but it's not something that I'm going to be using. So the next item is, let's see if we can find it. they put this? Nope, that's not it. Is that it? No, I guess so. Ofra Cosmetics, a lip gloss in Blissful. Go full glitz with this creamy rose gold shimmer gloss. It's packed with good for you ingredients like antioxidants, jojoba oil, to deliver hydrated glossy lips that elevate your look with every swipe. Paint the gloss over your lips to add shine and color. This is a deluxe sample. And the full-size version of this product, which is 3.5 mil, is $15. And this is 
0.16 fluid ounce or 5 mil, so 3.5 mil, hmm, I wonder if they did that right, um, is worth $15. Anyway, um, I don't like rose gold. I find it a really boring, pale, neutral color. So again, this is something, this is disappointment number two in my bag. So that would be a no. Next item is, I believe it's the one that I picked, which is Gold Fadden MD Plant Profusion Night Cream. So we've got that right there. Introducing your secret weapon for a smoother looking complexion packed with plant, stem cells, antioxidants, and nourishing extracts like Bird of Paradise and Low Luminous Skin. This multifunctional formula works wonders overnight to help your skin, skin appear smoother. Each night, spread the cream onto your cleansed skin in gentle circular motions. This is... 0.4 fluid ounces or 12 mil. The full size version is 50 mil for $185. That's a good thing I like samples. <laughs> and this one will be for good use. This is was my choice product, I do believe. Um, and uh, I could be wrong on that. I, I think this is my choice product though. So I am happy. That's two no's and one yes. The next item is Dazzle Me Get a Grip Makeup Setting Spray. Again, hard no for Teresa on this one. I don't use any face makeup products, so I'm not going to use a setting spray. So again, going in a giveaway or friend mail or something like that. This multi-purpose setting spray is here to help you get your makeup under control. Besides locking in your look for the long haul, it helps keep oil in check soothe and treat acne and hydrate your skin. Spray your face evenly, then wait one or two minutes for it to form a film. I don't want a film on my face. This is considered a full size and its value is nine dollars. Now that technically pays uh, for more than half the bag, but I'm not going to use it. So that is three hard no's and one yes thank you. The last item is... Again, something I don't really have a use for. It is a brush. It is a brush. Uh, Wing Me Cosmetics Mega Blending Brush Number 15. Perfect for creating an all-over wash of color on your lids or definition to your crease. This brush is a must-have of any collection. The fluffy soft bristles blend shadows evenly and effortlessly. With a flawless finish every time, use back and forth motions to blend the eyeshadow into your crease. It is considered full size with a value of $24. <laughs> I'm still using a $2 packet of five, uh, five brushes I bought off of um, Wish.com about seven years ago. <laughs> and out of those five brushes, I think I used two. <laughs> anyway, this is what the bristles look like. Um, again, another useless product for me. For me, um, this is going in friend mail or a giveaway, so that's four out of five products in this bag. That tanked, and also the fact that I don't think this is very pretty. I think the backside is definitely very ugly. The baubles do not amuse me. So, this is why um, add-ons truly make the bag for me. Because I already know in advance that those four items... I'm not gonna like. So I give myself leeway to buy four add-ons. So I don't have the prices on those, so what their values are, but Biro. Anybody who knows me knows me I'm gonna pick up the Biro. So we have a apple matcha tea clearing toner. So we've got the Biro name. We've got one reason why I like it. It says tea time. Yeah, I'm a little bit about that. So, Tea Times Biro New York Apple Matcha Tea Clearing Toner. So that was add-on that was a must-have. I almost wish I had bought into pot two, but I didn't. The next item was Ahava. And I can see through here that this is down to about here. <laughs> um, it is Extreme Radiance Lifting Mask. It is a firming mask. And it says, apply generously on cleansed face and massage, avoiding the eye area, leave on 10 minutes, and then rinse off. Okay, 
I usually don't like Splish Splash, but Uff Hava is one of my favorite brands. I'm betting this is safety sealed, so I won't get a good scent off of it. Yeah, safety seal. So I can't get it. But it's a Hava. So for me, almost blindly, I pick up Biro. I pick up a Hava, and yeah, wow. That is really far down here. That's right, not even half of, of, of the container. But I love a Hava. Now, the next two things are a little bit different for me <laughs> in the fact that I've never heard of Pinky Bee Beauty. <laughs> Pinky Bee Beauty. And it is a blue eyeliner. I truly wish that they would give us more colored choices other than black and the occasional brown. I really like my bold colors. Now, right now, you can't tell that this is a... Um, Super shock shadow in sort of an olive green, but it's very light, and then my black eyeliner. So it's fun to play around with these. Um, so that's why I got this one, because it's a fun color. Last item. Now this goes outside my norm, because it is House Labs by Lady Gaga. And it is a full-size product that I paid full-size price for, which I think might have been $12 because it is a fuchsia shimmer. I detest Lady Gaga. I didn't really want to give her money, but I really wanted that color. I can't stand her face. I can't stand her voice. I cannot stand her acting. There's nothing that I like about her. I think I might have liked a couple songs from her very, very first album, Paparazzi and one other, whatever is on that album. And that's it. I've detested her ever since. I just, there's something about her that irritates me to no end. <laughs> and, and for those of you that like her music, like her acting, like whatever it is that she stands for, that's, that's great for you. But to me, I cannot stand this woman. So it does have some interesting packaging. Um, it says House Labs, bright pink. Um, I don't know how it opens. Oh, there it is. So this is a bright fuchsia, bright pink, full-size lippy from House Labs, H-A-U-S, House Labs, um, and it's got a shimmer to it. Um, unusual look to it. It looks like a pen. Um, Le Monster Lip Crayon in Fuchsia Shimmer. Le Monster Lip Crayon. So that's why I got it because pink is my color. I don't like her. I don't like her face. I don't like anything about her, but I wanted that color. So I will bend my rules for things that I really, really want. And, and, and my guy is learning that my general motto is I may not want much, but I want what I want when I want it. And I wanted that. So I put my ethics aside and got it. <laughs> so that's it. That is my ipsy glam bag for March of 2022. Some people like the bag, I do not. So um, I marched my own drummer. So it's interesting little marble that would have been nicer if it was brighter and centered. And it's got this ugly, too dark foundation color in the back. We have a setting spray I cannot use. We have a lip gloss in rose gold, which I don't like that color because it's pale, neutral, and boring. We have a gel face wash, which I don't use, a splish splash face washes, and a brush, which I'll never use because it's really made for bigger areas. And my eyeline, uh, my brush that I use for eyeliner when I use it at all, um, or eyeshadow, is a lot smaller than this by at least three quarters. I use a very small brush. Um, we've also got the McFadden Night uh, Profusion Night Cream, which I will be using. The <laughs> Yes, we've heard too much about it already. Uh, House Labs uh, Fuchsia Shimmer. A blue eyeliner. We've got a Hava. <laughs> it's down here. Um, which is a lifting mask. A mask that goes on. Let it sit there 10 minutes, then you go and rinse it off. Okay, splish splash for that. And then my absolute favorite, Tea Time by Rose Toner. So that is it. That is my Ipsy Glam Bag for March of 2023. Today was actually Choice Day. It's Monday as I do this. I'm not sure what day it will actually post, but I've already made my choice for uh, the April Glam Bag. 
So that's it. That's all there is to it. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up for positivity. I hope everyone is having an excellent week. Please could take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And I'll see you around the net. Bye!